Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. My name is Nakia, and today is Monday, January 31st. And I just left the campus from taking my exam. And as promised on my yesterday's video, I did promise you guys that I was going to upload a video on what's in my clinical bag. And let's begin. Okay, so this little bag came from, believe it or not, a local roses here in my hometown. And I don't know the name of the bag, but this bag is very sturdy. It's the kind of material, sorry, material that you could just wipe down. Very easy to keep clean. And it's very sturdy. It has two straps and then it has the bigger strap. So I tend to just throw this on my shoulders because it's, it's more support um, with the two straps. This bag comes with a, pot, a zipper on the front, a zipper on the back, and then it has the bigger compartment in the middle. So in my front pocket, nothing special. Uh, Siri. Just my Lysol wipes. Every time I go into Family Dollar or Dollar General, any kind of dollar store, and they are right as you walk in, I'm grabbing like three, four packs at a time, because they're just a dollar. So it's very handy to have these, especially if you are going to be on a computer or a cart, you can just wipe it down before you even touch anything. Of course, hand sanitizer. I have a, a pack of peanut butter crackers, because I love peanut butter. Just in case I don't eat breakfast one morning, that's real fast, I can just pop in my mouth so that my sugar won't drop. I got some extra <laughs> bobby pins. I think that was when I had my braids in and I have to keep my hair up. As you can see, they are gone. And I just got in here, I got a bag of paper clips because we have a whole lot of papers that we are um, having to turn in. And when we start off our clinicals in the morning, you know, she might give us some papers. So just to keep everything together, I have a bag of paper clips. Okay, so that is all in that front pocket. Okay. This back pocket, I don't think I have that much in it. Just a lot of alcohol wipes. And this is really handy when you're in clinicals because you have to, especially given insulin, you have to wipe off the vials and everything first. And um, if you give it any kind of injections, you have to wipe off the, the tops um, prior to giving the um, injections. Okay. If you hear some little footsteps in this room, my dog is in here with me. But he's laying down at the moment. <laughs> okay. So... In my big pocket, I, I have my <laughs> I have my calculator because you have to have a calculator when doing the dosage calculations, especially when you are setting up an IV. So this little thing came from it wasn't Dollar Tree, I think it might have been Dollar General. This was like two bucks, which I know in Dollar Tree I probably could have paid two two dollars and got two calculators, but hey. I was in Dollar General at the moment, so I went on ahead and got this little calculator. And I always keep an umbrella because where I have to park at my um, clinical spot, we have to park a little ways from the entrance way. So just in case it's raining or anything like that, I have my handy dandy umbrella. And this little bag, which is what I got from um, Sally's one day, and um, this is just something that I keep. As you can see, my Aleve, I have some gum, I have some chapstick, and I have some Altoids. We can't really chew gum in clinicals, so that's why the mints are in there. And they are cinnamon, and I love cinnamon candy. So that is good to take. Here is my pocket-sized drug book, because as you know, I did, I still have the real thick drug book, but that was too heavy just to lug around with everything else that I have to tote. So my husband purchased me this off of Amazon. 
and it has everything that the big drug book has it's just in a much more compact version and that is a 2022 Lippincott good to use because when we first start clinicals in the mornings we'll give our she will give us our medication administration record or the MAR and that details what the medications the patient that I'll be taking care of are is taking and we can go ahead and look up the drug look up the classification of the drug the um what the patient takes it for and the side effects so this little book comes in handy for that the next is my clipboard this is my fancy clipboard that I take every day to clinicals and it opens up on the side and it has various things in here which I really can't show because it has my school information on it but this is um, the little drug cards that I take I will use those and then I also have some more in the back <clears throat> that we have made and it's basically the same as those little cards it's just it has a top and it has a bottom I know you really can't see the way I'm holding it up but that's the bottom part and it basically just asks about um, the classification the generic name the trade name um, the action of the drug the use of a drug um, the dosage for an adult or a child then it asks about the route of administration the side effects and the nursing implications okay so I see a lot of people if they don't have the real big um, clipboard like this they have the foldable one and I'm kind of like OCD about my papers being folded so I don't want my papers to be folded I, li I like everything to be neat so <laughs> I use that okay and I also have plenty more plenty more alcohol wipes but you can never have, have enough of those and then I also have my charger which I may end up taking this out because um, we can't really pull our phones out on the floor because you know you're you have to be professional at all times only time we really take our phone out is like when we first get to clinical we do the pre-conference and when we're done with clinicals and we go back to the conference room we're doing post conference and if we have to look up any extra things on our medications she'll let us use our phone for that so nine times out of ten my um cell phone has a great bot has a great battery so i don't really need this so i'm just gonna go ahead and take that out okay and last in my bag is my stethoscope case and of course you know this came from amazon too and inside of it i have all the goodies Okay, so we have our roll of tape, which I mentioned yesterday in, in my video that, you know, roll of tape is real good to have. And plus, guys, you might think I'm crazy, but I love the smell of this tape. <laughs> but anyway, um, tape for when you are um, finishing up setting your IV and you have to put your tabs on it because, you know, certain IVs last for like four days. And so you have to put your start date tag and your 72 hour tag on it so tape comes in handy then of course I have my stethoscope you know I'm a huge fan of Littman okay I also have you know my little mouth freshener I got that in here because wearing that N95 all day you know your clothes are in and especially after you eat lunch you know you need something to freshen your breath right away so this right here, bandage scissors. These came from Amazon. Look at those pretty colors. Okay. That's real good when um, cutting the um, IV packages, cutting those open, that's real good because those packages are real tough and real hard to just try to open with your hand. So those scissors come in handy. I have ink pens. And my favorite pen, guys, are the Pilot G207. I love those ink pens. Love them. And you know, of course, you can only write in black ink, especially when you're filling out paperwork. And then I have a highlighter, and I have this 
to highlight the medications that my patient is taking in the mornings. Because we at, our, at my clinical site, I don't pass out afternoon meds. That's for the actual nurse that's on the floor. And then of course I have two pin lights. One pink and one green. And yes guys, that is all that I take to clinical. You know, I just try to be neat. The main thing is being prepared when you go to clinicals because you do not want to be scrambling trying to find things, you know, when you get to clinical. That's why I mentioned yesterday in my video to prepare for clinical the night before because it is a lifesaver. When you go to clinicals prepared, it makes your day run smoothly. So, if anyone has any questions or concerns about my clinical um, clinical rotation this semester, just leave it down in the description box. I will try to answer those. And this is one of the N95s that we have to wear. Just the, the standard one. And I got fitted for the 1860. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the medium size. I like these, but I like the ones that I wear at work. And they're white and it's made by 3M, which this one is too, but the whole thing is white and it has um, the red straps or either the blue straps. But for right now, um, this is what we wear at clinicals. You have to wear your N95. So guys, I think that is all that I had to share with you today. Um, I will link down in the description box where I got um, my stethoscope case, drug book. I think those were the main two things that I got from Amazon. Oh, the bandage scissors and the pen lights. So I'll link all those down in the description box for you guys to check out. And I hope this video has helped someone who was getting ready to start clinicals or if you just needed, you know, some extra ideas on what you can take. So I just try to go to clinicals prepared and, you know, well supplied with all of my things that I need. So guys, if you have any questions or concerns, please link those down below. Click that like button and make sure you hit the bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload a video. So until then, guys, be blessed and be safe.